Hey everyone, Scott here with the High Tech Guys on YouTube, where we're hammering it out so you don't have to. And today we're going to talk about installing and configuring CCleaner, which will protect your privacy, make your computer run faster, and be more secure. Okay, so let's get started. AVG is one of many free antivirus programs that you can download and put on your computer that you don't have to pay for. Uh, the difference between the paid version and the free versions usually have something to do with a little more security, a little more uh, intruder protection, some have firewalls, some have backups, some have anti-spam. But in this video, what I really want to cover is just the basic antivirus. There's lots of other things you can do to help protect yourself against viruses. But in this video, we're just going to stick to the basics and get something free that you can load on your computer to get used to, to start protecting you. You can always upgrade it later. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and download ABG free. We're going to install it. We're going to configure it. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. All right. First thing that we want to do is go out to the Internet and download it. So I'm going to you can use Google Chrome. You can use Internet Explorer and Firefox, but I'm going to use Google Chrome. Just uh, go out there and browse for it. So once Google Chrome is open, let's go out to Google. It's the easiest way of doing it. I can give you some direct links that you'll be able to find down in the uh, description of this video. And I'm going to do a search for AVG Free. All right. One of the first websites that come up, I'm going to scroll down, uh, is uh, free.avg.com. I'm going to click that, and it's going to bring me up to the AVG website. That's here. And I'm going to click the free download link in the middle. And that's going to go out to another page and it's going to give me two different options that I can download all right the first one is what we call the basic it's uh, ABG antivirus free 2015 the one in the right hand column here is the internet security 2015 and basically the difference is how much that they protect you the ABG antivirus free it's just the basic stuff as you can see here it does it blocks viruses spyware and other malware it has link protection so if you click a link and it tries to redirect you somewhere it can help protect you against that it has file shredder so if you delete files they're permanently gone nobody's going to come on your computer and find them what it doesn't have is this online shield which protects you against downloading harmful files um, data safe which encrypts and password protects private files anti spam and firewall all these things are great to have but in this video, we're just going to cover the basics. We want a free antivirus that helps protect us against most of what we're doing. Okay, so I'm going to skip the trial and I'm going to go ahead and download the free version of AVG. All right, so what that's going to do is take us to download.cnet.net and it's going to allow us to download it. Okay, so I'm going to click the download now file. A lot of times when you're here, they're going to try to trick you into down downloading and clicking on the wrong icon so just make sure that you're clicking on the one that is closest to the name that you want to download for example we want to install uh, AVG so here's the download button here click it it goes out and it's going to download AVG ask me where we want to put it I'm going to put it right there save it and you can see down here in the bottom left it downloads it all right so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it's going to start it extracts it it's going to come up to a menu screen that will walk us through the installation process usually takes about five to ten minutes to install depending on the type of computer that you have you might have to do a reboot in the middle uh, which is probably what we're going to have to do so I'll have to you know obviously when the when my laptop reboots it's going to kill the video so I'll have to pause it and then come back but um, usually five ten minutes and AVG is installed alright here we go here's the menu so we want English okay you can read through the um, the user software agreement here I'm gonna accept it I've already done that okay so here's another option that AVG gives you to pay them more money so you can pick the the basic version which is what we're gonna install today or they allow you to do a trial version of the internet security version which gives you all these options the trial version only lasts um, 15 days so after that it's going to quit working so and then you're gonna have to pay it uh, pay for the 
for the full version, which is 54 bucks, or you're going to have to downgrade back down to the free version. But you can always upgrade the free version to the full version. And today, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to download and install and configure the basic uh, version of AVG. All right, automatically puts that number in there so you don't have to do that. Um, in most cases, just go ahead and click the standard install. So we're going to do that today. Click next. And now it's going to download the rest of the files off the internet. And then it's going to finish um, installing AVG. So we got 36 megs that it's going to download. Most people today have high internet or high speed internet. Um, and, you know, this, this should go pretty quick. Uh, right now it's already at 27 megs downloaded out of 36. So it's going to go ahead and download those and finish installing. Uh, and then it's going to do a couple updates and then probably ask us to reboot the computer. But we will find out. Okay, now ABG comes back and asks you, do you want to help them make this product better? It's going to send anonymous information to them. I usually just allow that. Uh, it doesn't track any personal information or anything like that. And it does help them uh, find out how best to make the product to help protect against the viruses in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and click finish and leave that checked. All right, now AVG comes up. And now it's installed. And so now we're going to go into the configuring of AVG. And at first, I'm going to show you around the interface here, just so you can kind of get familiar where everything is at and what it's trying to tell you. Um, and then um, from there, AVG will start scanning every night. So right now, we're just going to let this finish uh, updating the virus definitions. And then when that's done, then um, we'll be able to go over the configuration. So I'm going to click this button right here. It should bring it up. And it's going to show us how it's at 20% of updating this particular def data definition. It's 88.6 uh, megs. So we got uh, high speed coax cable here. So it should go pretty quick. Uh, downloading at hmm, almost 3 megs a second. That's pretty good. Okay, now the update is done. We're going to go back to the main screen by clicking arrow right here. We're going to go over some of this information here and, and kind of explain to you what this means. All right, so basically up here at the top, you can go out to our Facebook page. You can like it. It's got one report. If you click that, it'll show you some reports of what's going on. So basically, we just did an update, so it finished that. Um, you can click support and help you uh, contact them in order to fix any problems that you're having with ABG. And then you have some options here, which gives you a bunch of um, a whole bunch of options about ABG. Typically, you don't have to go into here. Uh, everything is done on this front page. And just for um, the brevity of this video, we're going to kind of skip those for now and just show you the main the main contents that you're going to be dealing with on a daily basis. Okay. So uh, as you can see here, some of these icons aren't completely full, so it doesn't look like you're protected, but you kind of are. So I'm going to click the computer here. So your antivirus is completely protecting your computer, but they say on the main screen that it's not because they want you to buy the pro version. It has a couple more features in there that supposedly protects you more. Uh, I'm not thoroughly convinced on that um, option. Uh, on the uh, web protection here, you know, we have our link uh, scanner enabled. So basically, when you click a link, and it'll, it'll verify that it's taking you to the right place so you don't get caught by some rogue link taking you out to an infected website. Uh, identity protection is completely protected, so it's got you all installed and ready to roll there. Uh, email protection is partially because they want you to buy the pro version to get the anti-spam to help protect spam in your mailbox. But if you're using, you know, Google or Yahoo or a lot of other um email servers already provide a layer of anti-spam anyways uh, so you might not necessarily even need that at all uh, and then you have the firewall which is not um, engaged at all because that is only included in the pro version um, and I'll just say this quick about firewalls they can cause problems with going out to the internet and doing certain things and certain apps accessing the internet so um, beware that if you do get the internet security pro version that the firewall may cause some problems all right, so down here we can scan the computer now. We're going to skip that. What's important, though, is that we go to the gear icon here, which is your settings for, for your scan options, okay? First thing we want to do is we want to manage the scheduled scans because we want to set up your computer to scan the whole computer every day at night, 
Okay, so what I want to do here is click where it says schedule scan disabled, just single click, it just highlights it. And then it uh, puts focus down here on the edit scan schedule button. So we're going to click that. And now we're going to configure this to run every night. And it, and if it if nighttime isn't good for you to run, you can schedule this to run, you know, as as often as you want or not as often as you want. But uh, typically what we do in our company is that we set up all the computers to run at least every day and usually at night when we're not using the computers, we just leave the computers on. All right, so what I want to do is run at specific times here. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select Yes, I want to enable that. Okay, so this was disabled up here, the, the um, schedule scan. I just missed that. So now that it's enabled, we're going to go and say every day. And then what time do we want to run it? Well, I want to run it at midnight, okay, um, because usually by then I'm off the computer and I just walk away from it and the computer will start scanning by itself and it scans the whole computer for everything, for looking for, you know, viruses, spyware, and malware. Uh, if the scan does start while you're using it, it's going to pop up a screen. You can always pause it or cancel it, uh, and then it will automatically start running the next day. Here's some options that we have here. Run on computer start. Uh, I don't typically recommend that because when you're turning your computer on, you want to start using it. You don't want the antivirus scans to start running because it's just going to slow everything down. Some of the advanced scheduling uh, run when computer starts up if the task has been missed. I don't recommend that either. It's the same thing as uh, running the antivirus scan when the computer starts up. If it missed it the night before because your computer or your laptop ran out of uh, battery and it wasn't plugged in or it got turned off for whatever reason and it didn't run, when you boot up that computer in the morning, it's going to, or the afternoon or wherever you get back to your computer, it's going to start running again. And you don't want that to happen. So I'm going to uncheck that. But I will say, run even if the computer is in low power mode. That means if it's like in a sleep mode or some type, if it's in hibernation or it's off, it's not going to run. But if it's in a, a sleep mode or whatever, the computer is still going to start AVG and AVG is going to run to scan your hard drive looking for stuff that um, you know, might have got on your computer. So now I'm going to go ahead and save this. Well, actually, let me, let me do this. Let's go into some of the settings. Uh, most of this you don't really have to worry about, but since we're here, I want to go ahead and I want to check these. I want to check the report enhanced set of potentially unwanted applications. So if you got some... Sometimes when you go out and you download, let's say for AVG for a second, if you don't get it from CNET or some other sites, a lot of times they'll kind of package it with some other malware types of uh, apps or bloatware. Um, and that if you're not careful when you're installing it and make sure you say no to that particular program, it's going to get on your computer. Well, that's what this stuff looks for. It looks for stuff that may have gotten on your computer that you didn't want to. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to... Um, uh, that's that. We're going to scan for tracking cookies. I want to know all them. We're going to scan inside of archives. Uh, archives is like a one folder or one zip file that contains a bunch of other files. Uh, we're going to have all these and we're going to enable thorough scanning because it's running at night. Uh, so we want it to do as much as it possibly can to make sure that our computer is clean. The other thing we want to do here is slide this over. So we want it to run as fast as it possibly can run. The computer's at night. It's going to use all the system resources to run the scan to get it done. Okay. Depending on how many files that you have on your computer, your pictures, your music, your data, uh, how many programs that you have installed on, on the computer, really depends on how long that scan is going to take. But just in a nutshell, basic boilerplate answer, it'll usually take between an hour to two hours to scan your computer completely. Okay, uh, if you have less files on there, it could take less than an hour. If you have more files on there, it may take a little bit longer. All right, so let's go to location. What this is going to do is allow us to cherry pick what files we want to scan. We can't select anything here because we're already scanning the whole computer. So, which is what we want. It's at night. We're sleeping. It doesn't matter. Let it run and get this computer cleaned up. Okay, so I'm going to click the save button. We'll save that. And you get this prompt. Do you really want to do this? Yes. All right. Takes us back to our schedule scans here. Uh, and then I'm going to hit the back button there. So you can run scans separately from every night. So you can run a whole computer scan manually. You can run specific files. And you can check for root kits. Uh, so these uh, settings button here allows you to set up the manually ran run um, whole computer scan and just specific files and stuff. We typically won't do that, so I'm not going to go over that now. But uh, the rootkit scan is very important. 
Rootkits is a type of virus that takes over your computer and can actually control the computer and keep you, lock you out and do anything it wants to do or that is programmed to your computer. For example, if you get a rootkit on your computer, it can go out and download more viruses and infect your computer more and more and more. Your, that rootkit can also tell ABG that it's not there, so ABG is giving you false answers saying that, no, you don't have any viruses on your computer. I mean, there's a vicious virus that is very, very hard to get rid of once you get it. Uh, in most cases, if you have a rootkit, then the loading antivirus onto your computer is not going to be able to get rid of it because it controls your computer and tells that antivirus that you're installing on your computer that, no, I'm not here, disregard, look over me, and keep on going. And the antivirus will say that everything's cleaned up, but you really still have that rootkit on the computer. So if you find that, if your computer does see it, and uh, says that you have a rootkit. In most cases, it's best to take it in to an IT professional like us, and we can help you get that cleaned off your computer. So I want to go into the settings right here and make sure all these are checked. Okay, so we want to scan application for rootkits. We want to scan the drivers for rootkits. We don't want to do a, a quick, quick rootkit scan, and we want to do a full rootkit scan. So all those are set properly, so we're good to go there. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then we go back to the main page. And here we go. AVG set up and ready to roll. It's going to run every night at 12 a.m. midnight. Uh, if the computer's off, it won't run. It'll just automatically run the next day. If it's on, it's going to run all night until it finishes. So one of the things I, I like to tell people is that um, viruses are ever-evolving. So you can have 10 different antivirus programs on your computer and still get a virus because the virus that comes out today it's still not protected by AVG. If it came out today and you get that virus, it takes a week or so, maybe even a month, for these antivirus companies to develop the fixes to correct and remove these viruses that just come out. So your best protection against keeping viruses off your computer is you. Uh, by knowing where you're going and by not just clicking reckless abandonment, you know, click, 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 click. Kids love to do that. If you got kids at home and they're using your computer uh, they download programs that pops up do you want to install this oh yeah 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 and they're just clicking the button and they're downloading this stuff they're giving the computer approval to download these programs and they're telling the antivirus to say no don't block this I want this installed those are the number one things you can do to help protect against getting viruses on your computer so I hope you like this video if you like it Click the like button at the bottom. If you don't, click the dislike button. If you want to see more of the antiviruses and different programs, uh, we're going to show CC Cleaner. We're going to show Avast, and we're going to show Malware Bytes. We're going to have uh, their own videos. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and go out to the antivirus playlist and check them out. Um, there's a bunch of different free programs out there that we're going to explore and show you how to install and configure to help keep your computer virus and spyware clean. Thanks so much. Have a great day.